Hey everybody, it's Brick Waffle here, and it's time for a quick little message. No, I'm just kidding. We're gonna back up and do the normal way. Hey everyone, it's Brick Waffle here, and we are back on the Waffle Mod server, and I'm excited to be here today. Uh, it's been a little while since we've been on here. Uh, yep, let's whoop, open one of these doors. There we go. Let's come back this way and see if I can remember how to play Minecraft. It's been a little while. Um, looks like everything's working back here. I want to make sure that everything is still working the way I expect it to. Uh, so let's take a quick pop over through the beacon beams of doom down here and pop uh, this way boop and that's looking pretty good so we're full on fuel putting out plenty of power uh rf per tick is about 1200 we're putting out a lot of energy for that so let's check this little reservoir yep full on eulorium and how are we doing on there great no back it up no backed up that's what i said don't question it we're going to pop back up here and we're going to follow these lovely arrows. I'm so glad I put these lab blocks in and come take a look at our AE network. So if we come in here, we see that not much is getting close to full. Uh, let's go ahead and put our... Yeah, whoa, what's happening there? Put this back on. Look at that. Okay, so Eulorium. We got 121 in here and the chest is full. So we are running a little low on that. And Blutonium, uh, 239. Yeah, we need to reprocess some of that into... Or no, that's Blutonium already. What's Cyanite? 88. Okay, that's not too bad. Um, so we do need to get some more Eulorium, and I think we're going to take care of that fairly quickly on today. What we want to do is go back to the mining world and reset our quarry. Um, but I also want to do a couple of other things. And I want to talk to you guys about some upcoming plans with Minecraft. Uh, build Big Reactor. That's done. Automate Big Reactor, that's done. Finish Upper Dome, mm, I don't know if it's finished. We're going to take a look at that again in a little bit, see how we're doing. Um, but yeah, so 1.9 for Vanilla is coming out fairly soon, I think. Um, they've done all the feature improvements they're going to do, and now they're working on bug fixes. And this looks like it is done. Okay, perfect. Um, they're doing just bug fixes now, and it, it's probably going to be sometime... Why can't I jump on here? Sometime between Thanksgiving and Christmas would be my guess is when we're going to get the 1.9 vanilla drop. And at that point, what I'm going to probably do is put this series on a little bit of a pause and try to focus mostly on vanilla. Where did... There it is. Uh, and I think some of you are really going to be happy about that. Some of you are not going to be so happy about that. Um, we're, we just got a lot of stuff we want to do right now. A lot of games we want to play, playing a lot of ARK, enjoying that. And, you know, with the Steam sales coming up around Thanksgiving, there's going to be some other games on the channel, I think. Uh, so we'll have to see how that goes. And we'll kind of play it from there. Break that guy, and this guy, and this guy. And it looks like we did that area. Now I'm going to go ahead and run with the uh, the tool here, um, Paxel, and clear all this out just so it's easier for me to tell where I've been in the past. Good look out, pig. Thanks for the pork chop. Um, so yeah, so what I was saying is that uh, we're, we're going to be doing a few different things here. I think hopefully you guys will be enjoying some of that. Um, some games I've done that have been different have been really well received and some have not and we're going to keep that in mind as we do games If you really like the new games that I start doing uh, Towards the end of the year here, please let me know which games you like and which games you think yeah No, I don't really care go back to doing whatever else you were doing um, That'll really help me with what I want to do on the channel because obviously if you guys aren't enjoying it No point in me recording it And I've been watching some of the other uh, Youtubers that I like playing some new games that's helped a lot with some inspiration and uh, there's definitely some games that are on my wish list. I'm just waiting for that Black Friday sale. And that's going to be very, very soon now. So exciting stuff ahead. But this series is not going away just because 1.9 comes out. It's just going to be on a little bit of a pause. And at the very worst case scenario, if we stop playing this entirely because we're just so excited about 1.9 vanilla, then we'll be working on a 1.9 mod pack. As soon as Forge updates and some of these mods start coming out, we'll do a Waffle Mods 2.0 that uses 1.9. And I think there's going to be a lot of these... Uh, 1.9 conversions. I know a lot of mods didn't bother with 1.8, even though the servers ran a little bit better and all that good stuff. Um, I have a feeling we're going to get more for 1.9. So we'll, we'll have to wait and see, but I think that's going to be that's going to be good for us, those of us that like to play modded. Uh, all right, so let's put down some Ender Markers, and in order to do that, I'm going to have to hit a key that might pause my recording. Um, yeah. All right, so uh, yeah, um, unfortunately the key I have for um, starting and stopping my recording is also the key that toggles the chunk borders, but trust me, these little uh, ender markers are aligned with chunk borders, and we're going to do, uh, I think it's three chunks by three chunks, so yeah, four lines, that should be right, and we're going to go set this up again, I know you guys have seen this before, but it's been a while, we'll do that again, 
make sure they found a boundary. Yep, so let's throw this ender chest on top. That's looking good. We'll throw a couple of these over here. Let's throw one here. And what's the next closest there? That looks good. Get some enhanced energy conduits. Nope, that way. Nope, what? Oh, I hate when it does that. You can't see it. There we go. Uh, put that back. Put that guy there, that guy there, 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 there. And I missed. <laughs> okay, uh, so we'll do this again. <laughs> and put these in the right spot this time. Off by one block. I hate when I do that. So let's try that. I see what happened there and there. Yeah, there we go. So one, no, one, two, three, four, and five. Nice. And chunk loader there. And we really only have to load a couple of chunks because the, the uh, ender quarry itself will load the rest of it. So let's turn that on. Looks like it's working. Blocks are scanning. We're getting stuff in the ender chest. Everything's happy. Okay. Back through here. So yeah, I'm not going to talk a whole lot more about 1.9 this episode, but do know that when that comes, I'm going to be returning to vanilla. There's a lot of exciting features coming, and we're going to have some other players joining us. I'm not sure if they'll all record or not, uh, but we are going to have some new folks. And we might open it up again to the community. If you're interested in joining us for 1.9, go ahead and join the forums. The link should be down in the description. And tell us why you'd like to play with us on 1.9. We're taking some new folks, and you do not have to record to join us. We are going to do some video spotlights with those people who do record. Um, but yeah, it's not a requirement by any stretch of the imagination. So today what I want to do is pop back up here, and we did this in the last episode. I'm still really happy with this. We did the floor, I think in between episodes. We did a little bit of this kind of boundary stuff here too with the anti-blocks. So this is looking pretty good. I'm liking it, but we need to do something else. The seared stone is a little bit bland, and we probably need some kind of floor border here. I don't like that it just ends with glass and the seared stone. We might fix that up at some point. This is going to be our big observation dome, and Let's take a quick pop up to the top, and we're going to fly out here and look at it. This thing looks pretty cool. I'm really happy with, about, with that, and you definitely can tell my base from a long way off now. And if we look over to wherever we've got, somewhere over here we've got Torcada. I think I have all the waypoints hidden. Um, not sure why I did that. J for, no, that's hat. J for journey map. There it is. Do I have waypoints off? I have no waypoints. Uh, that's weird. Okay. We'll have to get those again at some point in the future. Um, oh, I know what happened. I deleted all the waypoints because I've got the Ender Charm now. That was kind of silly. Uh, but yeah, like I said, you can tell that this is somebody's base from a long way off. It's, even if you're just coming up this mountain, we got this nice little pass over here, and it comes around, and we can see we got the big dome and the tower and some bridges. I'm, I'm really happy with that. Hopefully you guys are liking that too. And at some point in the future when we need more room, we've, got, we've gone down a few levels, but we can also start kind of going this way through the hills here and extending out to that side and have like a little watchtower over here that's all connected. There's just so much in this area that looks really nice. Um, we've got a couple of farms set up. We've got our Blaze Farm and, or I'm sorry, Enderman Farm and our Wither Skeleton Farm. We've got lots of Nether Stars from that. That's really, really productive. And we can see in here, yep, it's just spawning Wither Skeletons and killing them. That's just awesome. I love it. Uh, hello, Creeper. Don't ruin my day. And then here we've got our end, our end portal room, which is looking really nice. And then most of the rest of the stuff is kind of underground. So I do want to do some more stuff that's above ground that other people can see. And yeah, this part here, the floor may need to have some extra stone and dirt added. I don't know if I really want the floor in there to be showing down here. I might have to kind of model that in, kind of cover it up a bit. Oh, but it's kind of nice to have the light coming down there too. We'll, we'll, we'll think about that and figure out what we want to do. Um, so we do have a couple of other base building things to do, but I've done a couple of building episodes, and I don't want to keep doing all of those. We need to put a few more things on the list here. So if we look at our clipboard, we got, you know, finishing the dome, finishing the aether base, finishing the nether base. We don't really have any kind of new exciting projects here. Um, so let's take a quick look at our list of mods, item subsets, mods, and see if there's some other things that we want to try and tackle. Now we're doing pretty well with AE, but there's a lot more we can do with this. Um, we can start using level emitters to keep certain amounts of things and automatic crafting. We have not done any of the um, molecular assemblers. That might be something good to tackle. We might want to put that on the list. Let's go ahead and put that on there. Uh, AE2 molecular crafting. Yeah, it kind of sort of fits. Okay, so that's going to be one thing we can do. Um, the other things we can do, let's see, better furnaces. Eh, we might do that, but honestly, with a resonant furnace, these are really nice fairly early game, and then these are kind of silly. Although, extreme furnace, I'll bet we've got the materials for that. Uh, extreme furnace needs a nether star, some eyes of enders, and a hell furnace, and another brick. 
How much of that do we have? Okay, we don't have any Eyes of Ender, but I bet we can make them. Yep, one. Oh, we don't have any more Blaze Powder. We could solve that pretty easily. A Hell Furnace needs some Magma Cream and some TNT. We don't have any Magma Cream, but we do have the TNT and Diamonds. Okay, so if we can get some Diamond Blocks, and I'll bet we could do that too. Diamond, yeah, we can make some Diamond Blocks. Let's go ahead and make that Extreme Furnace. So what we're going to need to do to do that is go to the Nether, get three Magma Creams and some Blaze Powder, and then we'll be able to do some very interesting craft or furnacing work, uh, but it is going to require fuel. So we might want to get some extra blazes while we're over here. Okay, and it's been a little while since we did our nether base over here. That's looking good, and it looks like we had a pig man die. I'm not sure how that happened, but we've got rotten flesh and a golden nugget. Let's go ahead and throw those back in here. Let's find some... Uh, actually, the blazes are not going to be too bad. Magma creams might be a little harder to find. Uh, so let's see what we got here. What are you? Stingberry bush. Okay. So we're going to fly around for a little bit and see if we can get any of those guys. Hmm. And the other thing we can do, you know, it's modded. There might be another way to make magma creams. Let's check that real quick. I think you can maybe combine a slime with something. Okay, that's with essence. A slime and blaze powder. So, okay, we just need blazes. And where is, uh, it looks like our fortress is over that way. And something else we can do. Huh. Someone definitely built that over here. Is that our old portal? I wonder I wonder what someone was doing. Um, but yeah, that's our... <laughs> that's definitely sucking up a lot of lava. Um, that's our old way of generating power. Let's come this way and see if we can find some blaze powder. I'm pretty sure we've got slimes. I know the slime... Um, the uh, What is it? The wireless terminal won't work while we're in the nether. We're well, definitely true, truly too far for that. Um, heard a gas. I don't know where. Um, yeah, you can hear them from a long way off. But I'm pretty sure we've got enough slimes either in our network or in the shared network that if we can just get a bunch of blaze powder, we're going to be all set. So it's a little bit of a hike to this fortress, but I think it's going to be worth it. At some point, we need to do... I think we've even got a blaze soul Yeah, in our bags. We need to set up another mob soul spawner like we have for the wither skeletons and the endermen. And that's going to help us with this. So maybe we'll do a little bit of that in this episode too. But for now... Let's start out by farming them the regular way, which uh, would help if they spawn. There we go. Hey, come back here. Okay, and we probably need to equip a... Ooh. Hey, guy. What are you doing? Yeah. We probably need to equip our magnet, so let's go ahead and do that as well. Bring this magnet out. There we go. Now we're getting all the things, and it doesn't matter if we knock these guys off the edge anymore. So we got a couple of spawners here. We can kind of toggle back and forth between them. Might not be the most efficient. I'm not exactly sure. Um, come on, guys, spawn. I know you can do it. Yeah, I know you can do it. We need to make ourselves another um, Wyvern's core, I think, is what we need to stabilize these things. Nine blaze powder. So we need three magma creams. That's going to be three blaze powder and an eye of ender. That's enough for now, so we'll do the in-between stuff. Do I have a diamond dolly in here? I do not. So we'll need to get one of those, too, just so we can pick up the spawners later and use that. Any spawner will do. Um, shift right-click to spawn. Oh, that'd be kind of terrible for a single use. But we need to stabilize a spawner, and then we can uh, do all sorts of stuff with that. I'll show you how that works, too. So let's put all this in here, and let's add blaze farm to our list of things to do today maybe not today but we'll get to it at some point soon uh, now that we have that let's go ahead and also set ourselves a waypoint in the fortress this looks like a pretty good spot so we'll shift oh, hold on we're going to kill this guy then we're going to shift and right click this and we're going to add uh add new nether fort whoop and we're going to stop here in just a second we're going to commit that and we're going to kill the skeleton who's very annoying. Hey, I said you're very annoying. Um, and then we're going to come down here to the last one, nether fort. Yep, that's not exactly where I want it because we got knocked out of position. Let's try that again. Nether fort, set here, and then we'll lock it. Awesome. Right-click to teleport to Waffle Base. Now we can come right back to the fortress in the future. Okay, so let's go in here, and we need to make blaze powder. So let's take... Oh, we already had a bunch of blaze rods. Didn't even check that. Uh, so there's 64 blaze powder. Let's go back and get some magma creams. 
Magma Cream, there we go. Any of those work? One, two, three. Nice. And then what do we need for that extreme furnace? Extreme furnace needs a hell furnace, which needs a diamond furnace, which needs a gold furnace, which needs an iron furnace. That's this one. Okay. Boo. Gold furnace. No problem. Uh, diamond furnace. No problem. Hell furnace. We need blocks of diamonds. We need two of those. No problem. There we go. Hell furnace. And then extreme furnace. Oh, we need to make one more eye of ender first. There we go. Extreme furnace. Boom. Maxed out. And then what we need is for better furnaces, we need better... There we go. We want a couple of upgrades. We want to do an um, advanced fuel efficiency upgrade, which needs a regular one. Uh, oops. What do we need? Lapis blocks. Okay. One, two, three, four. Where is it? Fuel upgrade. There we go. And then we need the advanced fuel upgrade, which is all of this stuff. What are we missing? Oh, Eyes of Ender again. Okay. One, two, three. Advanced fuel upgrade. There we go. Now that's going to make even more efficient use of the fuel. And we could do the advanced ore processing upgrade as well, I think. So that's going to be... Whoa, we're keep jumping around. Piston. Great. One of those. Did... What happened? Oh, I think I'm lagging. All right, unfortunately, uh, we had a couple of crashes with the better furnaces. I'm not sure what's going on with that. There might be an update for it that we need to apply, but uh, that's that's not going to happen today. I went ahead and made that extreme furnace, and unfortunately, that's kind of a waste of materials. But we're going to move on from there, uh, and we're going to actually... No, we, oh, we're in more form. Eh, it doesn't matter. You know, we don't have to rest yet. Um, so I think what we want to do is let's go back to our list, and let's take a, for a couple of things here. Molecular crafting and blaze farm. Now, molecular crafting, we might be able to do if we have the right set up for this. So we need a molecular assembler. And what are we missing? More quartz glass. I think we can make... No, we can't. Nether quartz dust. Okay, so what do we have in terms of quartz? We got a fair amount of nether quartz and a fair amount of certus quartz. Let's go Let's go through a couple of those in our sag mill. Certus quartz. Yeah, there we go. That's going to work pretty well. We'll do some nether quartz too when we're done with that. Um, and let's eat a waffle. Because why wouldn't we? Um, we got a couple of options for where we want to put our blaze farm while that dust is grinding up. Uh, we could just stack it on top of the wither farm. That would work. It'd be fine. It doesn't have to be underground. And our enderman farm is down here. You can see there's glass, and he's not spawning anything at the minute. I think they're still spawning. What are you doing, guy? Why aren't you spawning stuff? There it goes. So they're falling down here with a gravity trap, and there's just a thing at the bottom to catch them. This isn't going particularly fast. But it's going fast enough that uh, we're just getting a steady trickle of ender pearls in the system. Uh, wow, that is really slow, though. Come on, spot another one. What's going on? I want to see this spawn some more. There it goes. Okay, so that's that's a pretty slow spawner. Um, but the one out here is working pretty well. And we could pretty easily do this again and upgrade these some more. Um, maybe we will just stack another one up on that. But I might do that in between episodes because you guys saw me build those too. I'm just going to put that on my to-do list. So I think Molecular Assembler is going to be what we want to do in this episode because I don't think I've done that on camera before. So let's throw this dust back in here. Let's throw a couple of those in there. One, two of those. That's going to be good. And, whoop, nope, wrong thing. Molecular... Mol... 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 Ooh, maybe it's an NEI crash. Nope. Okay. Just slow there. Molecular assembler. One of those. And we think we can make more of these formation cores too. No. What are we missing? Fluix dust. All right. Let's grind up some of that too. Then we'll make a couple of cores and we can make a few of these things. Fluix crystal. I think I have to grind up the regular ones to make the dust. I can't remember. We'll see if that works. Uh, let's throw one of these in there. And we only get one dust out of it. So we won't be able to make more than one molecular assembler right now anyway. That's fine. Really don't need one. Uh, interface. Let's throw on an Emmy interface, and we need to make a regular one for that. Oh no, we need cores for that too, and we need fluid dust for all the cores. Uh, okay, so we might have to do that. Uh, do, do, do. Is it formation annihilation? Yeah. Is it fluid dust for both of them? Yep, fluid dust for both of them, and that has to be from a regular uh, fluid crystal. So we've got our charger somewhere. Uh, let's take our charged Certus. 
Do we have any more charged certus? We do have a bunch of charged certus. That's awesome. And some redstone. And I'm sure we got a stack of redstone. And some nether quartz. Nether. Yep, there we go. And we need a puddle of water. We don't have any water back here, do we? I don't think we do. Nope, it's all plutonium and ice now. Doop. That's okay, we can fix that. Let's pop up to the surface. And we'll get, I'm sure we can find a puddle of water. Lots of water all around the place. That's fantastic. Uh, ooh, lots of skeletons and stuff too, though. So that's all right. We're going to come over here away from the creeper. And let's try not to land in the lake because we're still in our blaze form. And what we want to do is just right on the edge here, drop all of this stuff. So uh, shift Q, shift Q, shift Q. Zappy, zappy. Steady stream of Fluix crystals. Awesome. So we're going to be really lazy now, and we're going to use this thing to go back inside Waffle Base. Okay. Uh, Fluix crystals. Let's throw us some more of those in there and throw the other stack back in here. And this is going to be useful, but I don't need to make a whole bunch of them. I'm going to keep grinding that stuff up, but let's keep going with this for now. So interface. And we need a formation crystal. Two of those. Let's go ahead and make four. And then we need the annihilation cores. Let's make four of those. And now we should be able to make four of those. Awesome. Okay, so we got that. Let's make those into the smaller interfaces. Perfect. And then we need some crafting. Ooh, I think I misclicked there. Crafting. Uh, hmm. There we go. Crafting. We don't really need a monitor. Crafting unit. Awesome. How many of these can we make? Can we maybe make nine of them? Cool. Uh, and then we need the crafting co-processing unit. That's going to be one of those. We need crafting storage. Uh, let's see. Do we have 16Ks? We don't. Do we have any storage in, the, in here that's not being used for anything? We have a 1K. So we might need to make some storage too. Uh, how many of these 1Ks can we make? 55. Awesome. There's 56 of them all together. And how many of those can we make into 4Ks? seven of those um, and how many of those can we make into 16 six, wait, where's 16s somewhere 16s uh, oh we're missing one thing what are we missing more quartz glass no I know we can solve that 16k two of those okay so we can make some 16ks and a 4k and a bunch of 1ks and a crafting unit can be turned into one of these just by combining it with that set up here. So let's put that in there. We'll do our one 4K, our 16Ks, and let's see, with one, two, three, four, we got, I guess, four more of those. That should be fine. Five more of those? Okay, that works. Five, seven, six, seven, eight, nine. All right, and then we're going to need a little bit of cable to hook this all up. Uh, let's see, cable. Do we have any? We do. Let's, get to, uh, let's just use the Fluix glass cable for now. Can we make smart cable? I don't remember what the recipe is for that. Um, boop. It's just covered cable, which is that and wool. Okay, I'll bet we can make some smart cable then. So let's try that again. Smart. Well, yeah. Any eyes definitely not liking something I'm doing here. Maybe. Hmm. No, there it goes. Wow. Uh, yeah, something's going on with that. Smart cable fluix needs covered cable fluix, and that is just this and wool. 29 of that, I'll take it. And then that turns into smart cable with redstone and glowstone. I'll take it, 19 of those, that should be plenty. It's really more than we even need, to be honest. Now what we have to do is hook this up to our network somewhere, and we're gonna need a little bit of room for this. Um, where do we have, let's check the room downstairs from here. Do we have any room downstairs? We might be able to do that, what about upstairs? Hmm. Maybe. Maybe what we can do is drag this around here somewhere. Um, so does this cable go all the way back? It doesn't, does it? No, it doesn't need to. Um, hmm. Throw those in there. Anti-blocks. Maybe we can take... I think it's in one of these. There we go. So we should be able to take it up and over here. This way, across the room. Yep, that'll work. So we'll do that. Come across. That. Come on, there we go. And we'll drop it onto this side. Uh, maybe back down here, I think. 
yeah that should be all right so we'll do that and we'll put on some cable facades or something like that later uh, so how much of this cable do we have 19 of that and we're gonna bring that off of this thing you know what I wonder if we should maybe we should replace all of this with smart cable and use the glass cable for the other stuff that we're doing here let's try that Come on. And that is not connected to our network in any way. Aha, okay. I forgot about that. So we were just using power down here. Um, let's keep doing that then. We'll do this slightly different way here in a minute. That guy. And let's get our materials here. We're going to fill this back in because we're going to do this in a little bit of a different manner. Do, 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 do. That can go there. Those two can go there. That's fine. I think there's a little space in there we didn't need. And then we need our anti-blocks. That one and that one. And then that one and that one. Okay. Uh, where else do we have connection? I don't think we have any connection anywhere. So we might have to do this. Hmm. Might have to dig a little room back here, actually. I think that might be the best way to do it. So this quantum bridge is connected through the energy acceptor to there and through the security terminal. That way, yeah, this should all be connected through. So if I connect it to the back side of this, that should still work. Oh, right, we don't have any room back here. That is outside. Ooh, we're working with some limited space here. That's going to be a little tricky. Might have to go up. Um, but that's also going to be fairly limited space. How far up can we go? That's outside now, too. Wow, we are real close on our quarters here. Uh, do, do, put that guy there, that guy there. A little dirt up in here. Hmm. <laughs> we could go down maybe right here. Yeah, this is looking like it might work. Are we poking out into one of these rooms, or do we have some space? We've got some space. All right. So we're going to come down from our main network and do the crafting underground-ish. Uh, let's do that for now. And we don't need a lot of space, but we want to make this... We'll make this into a better room at some point in the future. Let's go this way a couple blocks. Oh, that is, that's it. That's it right there. So that's our ice for the power generation, which we really don't need either. We could get rid of that too at some point. But it's always tricky when you're building in a base that you already have kind of a defined layout for to get the space you need without running into your other projects. Okay, so there's all that stuff. I think this is going to be enough. And let's just throw in a torch down here for now. So, uh, molecular assembler. So what we need to do is put a molecular assembler... Let's put it right there. And then what we need is some interfaces. And we need these to be on all the sides of this. Actually, so let's bring that up by one. Um, put it right there. And then we should be able to get our molecular assemblers interfaces and put them on this side, this side, that side, and there. And I think, can we still stick a cable on top of that one? Yes, we can. Awesome. So we're going to do that and connect it up. And we need to connect it to all of the sides of this thing. And there we go. So now all of those interfaces are connected and this is using four of eight channels. I think we're going to be okay. I think this is going to work. Um, so then what we have to do is put in some patterns in here. I'll show you that in a second. We also have to hook up all of our crafting storage. Uh, so let's move this over here, put that up here. We need to connect that to the same array. Uh, you know what? I think we can do it on this side. So let's put in our five, one, two, three, four, five. Oh, that's weird. Oh, there it is. Okay. And then 16 Ks, one, two. And then our 4K right there, and our crow processing unit. Awesome. Device online. Perfect. So this is going to help us craft faster. This is going to store all the materials. This is our molecular assembler where things will actually get made, and it is using five of eight channels. So again, like I said, that room is not going to be in its final state, but what we should be able to do now is make some patterns. So we've got our pattern terminals here in our interface terminal. Do we, we don't have any patterns themselves made. Pattern. Do, do blank pattern. Okay, so we don't have the stuff we need for that. That's going to be a little bit tricky. Mm -mm -mm. Glowstone dust. 
Yep, okay, well, glowstone dust shouldn't be too bad to get. Glowstone, yeah, good, we've even got some already. So let's see, do, do, how much do we get from sag milling that? Four, okay, yep, we can always make it back into regular glowstone later. So we'll do that, throw this in here. Okay, that's enough for now. Throw this in here like this, oop, no, that way. And how many of these can we make? Three of those, and then we need to make some more of the glass, I think. Blank pattern, quartz glass. Let's just make a stack of that if we can, awesome. And how many of those? Nine, okay, let's grab some more of this stuff. Put it in there. Okay, 31, we can keep making more of these later, but this is gonna be a good start for us. So, what we can do is for things like um, blaze powder, here's an easy one. Put a blaze rod in here, we see that it's gonna make two blaze powder in code pattern, done. Uh, what else can we do that was pretty standard stuff? Um, pistons we make all the time. We need those. So let's do a piston pattern. Encode that. That's how we make a piston. Uh, sticky pistons, probably a good one. Do we not have enough stuff to make one? Oh, of course we haven't made any pistons yet. That's all right. That's, we, we might be able to work with that. Um, what are some other common things that we make all the time that we need? Uh, sticks are an easy one. We got plenty of those chests we could do but at the two of these is fine let's show you what the, how this works so interface terminal you can see that there's four interfaces connected to our molecular assembler that's what we did earlier we're just going to throw these two things in here so we're going to throw the blaze rod pattern and the piston pattern so if we come up to pistons for example now you'll see we have a craft button so if we click that we can say how many pistons we want let's say we want a hundred pistons it's going to pick the automatic crafting cpu it's going to say we have everything we need available we hit start now it's going to start crafting these pistons. All right, let's try this again. I think it might have been Optify and causing some of my crashes. So let's just try to craft 10 pistons and start that and see if this crashes this time or not. So right away, we're not getting any new pistons crafted. Let's go down and take a look and see what's going on here. Uh, we get one, and it doesn't look like it's actually doing anything. Crafting one scheduled nine, and that's a little bit unusual. That should be no problem here for this to craft. I'm not sure what I've done wrong. So there's the two patterns, and it should be able to take those and put it, and obviously it put things in here, it's just not working. Very strange. So it should be able to get power through these cables, through the interface. I'm not sure why. Oh, I may have done something very silly. Uh, let's see if I have any more of that smart cable. I wonder if that's really it. I bet it is. Smart cable. Let's get that. And um, I think I can come back here and do this. Let's see if I can get it this way. One, there's some ice, that's all right. And two, ooh, too much. All right, we're just gonna come in here this way and do it a little bit of an unusual direction. I think I have to connect these cables directly to that interface. There we go, now it's crafting pistons, all right. So that was a little bit silly on my part, no big deal. I think we figured it out. Um, so let's come back here, one, two of these, and throw some marble. Again, we're going to fix this room up later, so it doesn't matter. But you do have to power the molecular assembler itself. Fascinating. All right, so <laughs> let's try that one more time. Here we go. Drop this stuff off. And if we look at pistons, we've got 10 of them. Now, if you middle click, which is your mouse wheel, you can queue up more, even if you already have them. Queue that up. Now we see 11, 12, 13. There we go. That's what's supposed to happen. And we try this again with blaze powder. Uh, we got 57, we have 33 blaze rods. Let's do this and queue 10 more of those up. Start, and you're gonna see that's going really quickly as well, two at a time. So this is a very, very nice way to do things. The other really cool part about this is, if you have things that are multiple steps, like let's go ahead, do we have, um, you know, now we can do the sticky piston one. So let's do sticky pistons, and we wanna make a pattern for that. So a sticky pistons pattern, encode that. You put that in the interface terminal. And let's take out all the pistons we currently have. Okay, now I wanna make a sticky piston. Let's just say I wanna make 10 of those. It's gonna find out what materials it needs to make the first one, and then to make them into sticky pistons. It's gonna calculate all that for you. When we hit start, it's gonna start crafting those and turning them right into sticky pistons. How cool is that? So if you haven't seen AE2 before, this is one of the things I really like about it. Now we can start crafting up recipes to say, make all of the steps in order to get us to a specific item that we need, and then just say, I need more of those. And what we can do in a future episode now is to automate this to always have a certain amount. 
So let's do this and we're gonna automate, I think it's called level emitters, AE2 level emitters. And I'll show you guys that in a future episode. But for today, I think that's gonna do it. Uh, had a couple of crashes, looks like Optifine might have been to blame. So we might end up putting that extreme furnace back just for fun at some point. Hopefully you guys liked this episode. If you did, be, please be sure to hit that like button. If you really enjoyed it, then please subscribe. And as always, I've been Brickwaffle. Thank you for watching.